In this video, I will show you how to download and install the Demon Slayer mod. The first thing that we will need to do is access our internet browser. Now we are back to our browser. We select one of the search boxes and we write Demon Slayer Minecraft mod. Then we press the enter button. And after we have done that, we select one of the links that appear, but make sure to select the trusted web website such as CurseForge. We open up the mod that we have chosen. After we get to this website right here, we navigate to files. When we get inside of files, we make sure to select the correct game version that we're looking for. Make sure you note the version of the mod that you're downloading because you'll need to know it for later. And find one that is loading with Forge because we are using Forge for this tutorial. Forge is a third party client that connects the mods that you're downloading to your Minecraft launcher. Now let's press the three dots right here and we press download file to download our mod. Download will start in a few seconds. When you're on this type of website, be careful about clicking the ads because they're not download buttons, they're just ads. Now we have downloaded that. Open up a new tab and then write Forge. After you have written Forge, open up the first link at the top. Here you need to download the exact same version of Forge as you did for the Demon Slayer mode. So I downloaded 1.16.5 of Demon Slayer and I go to 1.16, then I select 1.16.5 and I download the latest version by clicking install it. Now, once again, we are redirected to this website. Here you will also find uh, ads, but be careful about clicking on them because they won't start the download. They're just ads. Navigate to the top right and you will see a skip button right here. It will appear after a couple of seconds. Then press it and the download should automatically start. After we have downloaded both Forge and the Demon Slayer, we can exit our browser, then open up File Explorer, then go into Downloads. And here at the top, we have both the mods that we just downloaded. We can take and select them and paste them to our desktop. Now, after I have pasted them to my desktop. The first thing that I will need to do is install Forge. To install Forge, I just double left click the jar Java file. If you have any issues when opening up the installer, you might need to update your Java to the latest version. To do that, you just open up your browser, then take it and go to java.com. This is the official Java website and press the download java button then you will download the latest version and the installation process is pretty simple if that is after you have downloaded java or if you had it previously you still might experience issues such as the java file opening up in a different application to fix that you just select the forge file you right click then you press open with when you get to this section, you might not find Java at the top, but if that is the case, you can just press more apps and find it right here. You, you must have it installed first. After you select it, then press always use this app to open jar files and press OK. If you are still experiencing issues with running Forge with Java, then you need to do something called the jar fix. There will be a link to this guide in the description. Now we should be in getting inside of the installer here we select install client and at the bottom uh, the folder will automatically be found by forge unless you have a custom installation that if you have a custom installation you might need to select it yourself then you press the ok button and wait for forge to install now my forge just finished installing the next thing that we should do is launch minecraft now that we are inside of the minecraft launcher we need to Go over right here to Java Edition first off, select it. And here we can select uh, the Forge option from right here, or we can go into Installations, hover over the Forge version that we just installed, and press the Play button. Then here we will need to agree to the risk with launching a third party modified version. If you understand and agree with the risk, just select this and press Play. Now, after you have gotten inside of Minecraft, as you can see, Forge successfully worked because we have this mod section showing up. The next step is to exit Minecraft or close it. After we have closed Minecraft, we press Windows key plus R, or you just press the search button right here and write run. Then you select the option at the top, 
And here in the bottom, you will open up the run prompt in which you will write percentage sign app data percentage sign and press the enter button. When you get inside of this folder, you select the Minecraft folder at the top called .minecraft. After you get inside of this folder, you look for the mods folder, which should be created as soon as you launch Minecraft with Forge selected. If it doesn't appear, you can just right click, go over to new and then select folder to create a new one. Now let's go into mods. Then we take the Demon Slayer mod that we just downloaded and we paste it inside of the mods folder. And now we run Minecraft once again. Now we are back inside of the Minecraft launcher. We select Forge from right here, or we go into installations and we hover over Forge and we press the play button. Now that we are back inside of Minecraft, we can go over to the mods section right here. And as you can see, here is the Demon Slayer mode. Now let's get into our world to show you how it works. And now we are inside of our world. We can open up our inventory by clicking the E button. And we can select the combat. We can scroll down. And here we have some of the new items that come with the Demon Slayer mode, such as this or any of the other ones. You can also edit some of the key bindings when pressing Escape, then going into Options, then going into Controls. And here you can change some of the bindings related to the mod. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.